My next uh, guest on the PJTV author studio is somebody I feel a special connection with. I got sent her book by her publisher when it was in proof state, when nobody had heard of her, and I just sat up all night reading it. It has, I think, the best twist in it about halfway through that I can ever remember reading in a book. I was blown away by it. It was subsequently an enormous thrill to see this book, I Let You Go, become a phenomenal bestseller, including 12 weeks on the Sunday Times bestselling list and win the Theakston's Old Peculiar Crime Novel of the Year Award. Her name is Claire McIntosh. My writing tip is to never start the day with a blank page. So the day before, finish halfway through a chapter, halfway through a line if you need to, so you sit down and you're straight into it. My favourite book, I think, has to be my debut, I Let You Go, because it's the book that changed my life. I write in my little office at home after I've taken the children to school, but I also love writing on trains and I wrote uh, all the way up to Harrogate yesterday, which was fantastic. There are so many books that have inspired me, but Sophie Hanna's books are um, hugely influential on me. I think she was the first psychological thriller writer that I, I read of a contemporary age. I'm not sure I can admit to my guilty pleasure in case my mum sees this. Just lots of tea, I think. Cups and cups of tea. I always wanted to write um, from a very young age and while I was in the police I used to particularly enjoy writing very interesting witness statements. I'm a real plotter, so before I start writing a book, I will plan it all out. I'll work out where the twists are, where the rises and falls of action are, and once I've got a scene breakdown, I'll sit down and write it. It all changes later on, but I like to have the plan in place first. I hate being asked what book I last read because I can never, ever remember. I have a mental block about it. I can't tell you. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed watching Claire McIntosh in the PJ TV author studio. And if you have, do please like and share this video. And she has written such an amazing twist. I'd love to know from you in the comment box below how many of you saw it coming. And also, can any of you name any other books with really great twists that you've loved? <laughs>